One, welcome to How to Do Technology. Today we are going to see what is the index and values in Array. Uh, this is JavaScript, so let's start. When we have an array of items, each item in Array is automatically given a number that is known as an index. For example, in this case I have one array of names that have values or items here. So I have one item that is Christina, Nigel, and Carolina. So automatically when you are inserting values in the right, it's given an index. So index. But the important thing is that each, uh, the index star in zero. So the zero position. So when you have your value, your first value is going to be the zero, the index zero. So uh, this is going to be one and this is going to be a second, second index or uh, index two. So uh, the index help us to up to access an, a specific item of our of arrays. But uh, remember, always remember, remember that the index starts in zero. Always, always. So this is a zero, one, and two. So always remember that the index starts in zero in arrays. So, and help us to access to the specific uh, element. If I want to access to Carolina, for example, uh, then I can use the index. Let's see, bar uh, item uh, three is equal the name of the right names, and then in breaks, breaks, I want to insert the number of the index that have this value so it's the index number two so here and then i'm going to console just for you know or you can see the result that is gonna be carolina because it's have the index two so let me run this here if you see it's carolina because carolina have the index two uh, what else Arrays have a properties and, and also a, one of these important property is calling length. This property length, property length, length like this, uh, this property help us to know the numbers of the items that the array have or, or the array is holding. For example, the numbers of the items here is three if you see one two three and and this property help us to know how many items or values have the array so let's see names let me console that log names that length here so it's gonna be three if you see here if I run again it's gonna be three so because the item have a uh, three values or items. So uh, don't uh, confuse with the number of the items and the index. Just remember that the index always start in zero. So that's it. Uh, also, another thing just for in this video, it's that we can update an item of in array with the index also. So for update, this is yeah to access to access access to access this is the length and this is for update so for update also one of the uh, items in the right we can use the, the index so names for example uh, i want to insert here carlos but we are we need to use the index of this uh, item so it's one so you want to say carlos here if i console if i console the array then just let me command this console and the other console then i'm going to have cristina carlos and carolina so let's see, Cristina, Carlos, and Carolina. So, because I am using the index here. 
So this is what the index do and how is, uh, it's the value in each uh, position of the array. And you can use length, length property to know uh, how many items have the array. So that's it for now. Thank you for watching this video and subscribe to this channel. See you uh, in other video. Bye-bye.